Hello students, uh, we are going to solve uh, the CBSE sample paper. So uh, initially we'll solve one markers. Uh, the new pattern says that the one markers are from one to four. And obviously each question carries a one mark. So I'm taking the first question. The first question is, state the reason why the relation Why the relation a less than equal to b square where a and b are belonging to real numbers is not reflexive. So because it's a one marker, uh, there is no need to give the presentation. What you can do, you can simply take one example taking 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2, but this does not belong to r though a and b both are belonging to real numbers but why 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 does not belong to r because 1 by 2 is not uh, less than equal to 1 by 2 square which is 1 by 4 so this is completely not true this is wrong so that is therefore r is not reflexive Okay, so one example is enough to prove that this is not reflexive. You can also mention that one example is enough to prove that this is not reflexive. Uh, but because it's a one marker, you can also skip the line and simply this presentation is enough to say that this is not reflexive. Coming on to the second question. If A is a square matrix, If A is a square matrix of order 3 and determinant of 2A is equal to K times of determinant A, then find the value of K. So everyone knows that there is a property that K times of um, A, the determinant value is K to the power N into determinant of A where N is the order of the square matrix, order of the matrix. Uh, and it's a square matrix so clearly because the order is mentioned as uh, 3 so the output will be 8 so if we compare the two so this thing will come as 2 cube mod a and further if we compare this with the uh, k times of a then k is simply 8 so this is the solution so simple Question number three, if A vector and B vector If A vector and B vector are two non-zero vectors such that the magnitude of the cross product is equal to their dot product, then find the angle between the two vectors. So for this, we have to open cross product and dot product both. So what is A cross B? That is simply mod A, mod B, sign of angle between them into some unit vector which is perpendicular to A vector and B vector. And also, 
a dot b is mod a mod b cos theta now using the condition and you know if there is already a mod then another the mod won't play any role and there is no need to put mod on sine theta because this is valid from 0 to 180 degrees theta is valid from 0 to 180 degrees and sine is already positive so the impact will only be on a unit vector and everyone knows that uh, mod of a unit vector is 1 so you can see that uh, uh, mod a is gone with mod a same way mod b is gone this is 1 so we are left with sine theta is equal to cos theta so you can understand very well that sine theta is equal to cos theta in verse first two quadrants when theta is uh, pi by 4 or you can simply take tan theta is equal to 1 and with that also tan pi by 4 and hence theta will be equal to pi by 4 tan theta is equal to 1 is equal to tan pi by 4 so with this also theta is equal to pi by 4 so this is the solution of the question thank you if star is a binary operation on the set R Well, if star is a binary operation on set R of real numbers defined by a star b is equal to a plus b minus 2, then find the identity element for the binary operation star. Well, there is no need to write the questions. You can straight away start writing the answers. So do not waste time in writing the question. Well, uh, because uh, for the identity element, we have to initially prove that this binary operation is also a commutative operation. So as we know that a star b is a plus b minus 2. So addition is uh, addition of numbers is uh, commutative. So, so we can write b plus a minus 2. So this proves that star is commutative. Now, let uh, E be the identity element. So now taking uh, so we should get back to A. Now since we've already proved that this is a commutative operation, so we can take any of the relation. We can take A star is equal to A and then there is no need to take E star A is equal to A or you can take E star A is equal to A. Then there is no need to take A star E is equal to A because we have already proved that it's a commutative uh, operation. Now using the uh, definition in this case, so this is A plus E minus 2 is equal to A and it is very necessary that identity element is independent of A. So clearly this A and A is gone and E is equal to 2. Therefore identity element is uh... So this long question is also a tiny one. So be confident and you can easily solve the questions. Thank you.